Hello, everyone. My name is Tom Brady. I am the executive director of the J.P. Morgan Center for Commodities at the University of Colorado Denver Business School. Um, thanks for joining our, our webinar. We're here to just to briefly talk about the Energy and Commodity Analytics class for analysts that's uh, coming up next month. And uh, I encourage anybody that has questions on this to, to put them into the chat. Um, and we'll get those, and, but, but I'm here with Dan Jarrett. Uh, Dan is the instructor and has, has taught a number of classes for us in the Commodity Center uh, for our master's level students, but he's also uh, developed a, a course uh, for executive education on this, on, uh, on, on data analytics and, and uh, for commodities. So with that, uh, you know, I'd like to uh, kind of hand it over to Dan to provide a quick introduction, and then we have a few uh, questions that we can kind of help uh, uh, go from there. But again, any questions, please, uh, please, please put them into the chat. Thanks, Dan, for joining us. Right. Thanks, Tom. So my name is Daniel Jerex. Uh, I am an adjunct instructor uh, at the university. Uh, I've been working with the Commodity Center for, I think, coming up on seven years. And so we have been developing uh, academic courses for both undergraduates and graduates, as well as uh, slowly kind of moving our way into executive education. And so this is a course that uh, has been in development for quite some time. Um, a little bit about me. Uh, so uh, as I mentioned, um, I'm an adjunct here I'm in the business school. Um, I've been with the university overall for almost 10 years teaching courses in macroeconomics, uh, commodity data and analytics, and then also econometrics and forecasting. Um, in addition to that, um, I have my own economic advisory firm where I do very similar things, um, both professional education and then kind of in-house support with uh, central banks, investment management firms, and other public and private companies. Um, as far as the course goes, um, you know, I'll give a brief overview and I think we'll get into more information with some of the questions that Tom will ask. Uh, but it really is designed um, for practitioners uh, who are in the commodity space. Um, it, it, it's very data intensive, um, statistics intensive. Um, it's, you know, it's designed for people kind of of all skill levels. Um, so there are some minimum requirements we'll, we'll probably get to. Um, but what it's really designed to do is just introduce you to a broad array of different ways to look at commodity markets, commodity prices. Um, that could be just trying to better understand what's happening today in the market. It could be focused on forecasting what's going to happen tomorrow or a month or a year ahead. Um, so we do cover a very, a very wide um, gamut of, of different methodologies, um, but it is a very um, intense focus um, on the empirical side of things. Uh, the course is taught uh, using eViews, a statistical software. And so uh, for those of you unfamiliar with that, this is probably one of the you know, best practices leading um, software packages for econometric modeling, for simulation, for forecasting. Um, I've chosen this because it's incredibly user friendly. Um, and so you know, um, you're able to get basically a free month um, of the software as you go through the course with us. And what's great about it is that it does integrate now with some of the other statistical packages and computer programs that are out there that a lot of people are working with. So that could be something like Python, or R. Uh, so there's a lot of power to the program. Um, they're, they're all, everything, that they, you know, they're constantly updating, adding new features to it. And so it allows me to, since it is so user friendly, it allows me to really focus on the content and not have people trying to get up a learning curve of, say, learning a new programming language at the same time. So that's kind of just a brief overview um, of the course. Um, I'll turn it back to Tom for kind of maybe some more questions. Great, Dan. Uh, thank you. Uh, and just to, you know, I took this class last uh, summer, and it was just a great uh, refresher for me. It, uh, honestly, I, I hadn't had a lot of this material that, that, that Dan presented uh, in, in a, over 25 years, so it was, just, it was just a great class to get back up to speed on in a lot of this area. Um, but Dan, you know, overall, who, you know, when uh, some of the questions we get, uh, you know, who is this course, you know, who would you recommend it for? What, what type of uh, employee or, or individual? Sure. Uh, you know, I think the course, you know, the way that we've, that we've designed the course is it, it is designed to be flexible for those who, you know, are possibly kind of moving into this field um, and, and play a more technical role. And that could be, you know, I don't want to exclude any positions, but this could be investment analysts, this could be analysts at energy and mining companies, this could be economists. Um, you know, but this could also be a course that would be really great for, you know, for managers who are just wanting to maybe get their, you know, kind of get a better um, understanding of 
um, you know, the type of empirical data analysis that's going on in the commodity markets currently. So, you know, I, so I think it is designed for, for people of varying skill sets. And as Tom mentioned, um, you, know, in our, you know, in our last summer class, we had people who were very new to the topics. And then we had some people who had gone through very rigorous academic programs, but just hadn't really, you know, utilized the skill set in, say, the past five or 10 years. So, you know, so I think it does, it does fit well for people at varying levels. Great. Great, Dan. And, you know, any, you know, would you say there's any prerequisites for this or, or a certain background that you would recommend for students? Um, you know, at a minimum, um, I think it would probably, um, you know, make the course a little bit easier to, um, to follow along if, if people have had, you know, at least some basic statistics and, you know, in a perfect world you've had, you've seen some regression analysis, even if this is just kind of basic regression analysis you might have done in a stats class using Excel or some other spreadsheet program. But I think, you know, that would be, I think, kind of, you know, kind of a, a good foundation to have coming into this. Um, but I wouldn't expect um, anyone else to have any any advanced analytics or or econometrics course. Okay, okay. Um, you know, just to, on your experience, both with the school as well as your uh, your uh, advisory practice, you know, how, how how relevant is this course in in the current energy and commodity markets? Yeah, you know, that's a really good question, Tom. Um, you know, I, I think about where we are right now in twenty. 20, you know, and if we just focused on a few different commodity complexes, say precious metals and energy, I mean, we've seen some just some some absolutely kind of historical movements, um, you know, look at energy prices, for example, I don't think anyone going into 2020 was going to expect, a, you know, a front month futures contract for Brent or WTI to actually become negative, you know, yeah. for the first time, you know, and then if you actually were then to look at, say, the gold market and what's been happening, you know, with gold over the past, say, six months, hitting some new all time highs, um, you know, I think there's a lot of relevance there because what, what we spend a lot of time um, in the course is better understanding the history of the price series itself and the underlying statistical properties. And that in itself is a great tool set to have if you are a person who is thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow or next quarter or a year from now. So there's, there's, a, lot of, there's, a, there's a lot of relevance, I think, with what's happening with just so much um, upheaval in the global economy. Yeah, you know, and, and Dan, you know, from sitting in, in your class, you know, and what I find with students here at the, at the business school, you know, it's, you know, it's not just the techniques to develop models. It's really at the base level, you're, you're asking, does it make economic sense? And I've always, I really have liked how you emphasize that all throughout, uh, all throughout this class. So, so um, you know, uh, you know, what would you say, like the key takeaways for these for this class is, is Dan? Um, so, you know, the, the way that the course is really structured is, and then the one thing I will say um, is that the way that this is designed is it, it, it moves sequentially. So what's great with a course that focuses on time series, data analysis, econometrics, and forecasting is that, you know, you will start with basically say looking at just the price of oil and we'll, we'll, we'll be, it'll be a very deep dive into better understanding how to analyze a price series itself and how to use that price series and the history of that series to maybe make some very short-term forecasts or just better understand the short-term uh, economic environment or market environment. But then as the course progresses, um, the material builds on itself. And so by the time we get to the end of the course, what we're starting to look at is how could we model a long run equilibrium relationships that might exist between two commodities. And this could be something like, you know, looking at crude oil and what its long run relationship is with gasoline, which would be a, you know, a, you know, something, you know, a direct output of that. Or it could be looking at something like the gold silver ratio, which has become, you know, quite popular to discuss these days. So the idea is, is to, to leave participants with an ability to um, use sound statistical techniques to be able to look at short-term trends, but then also to be able to better understand what happens, you know, over the course of the long run. Great, great. Um, you know, the last question I have, and then we'll see if there's any, uh, any questions with, with our audience, but you know, how is this course beneficial, beneficial for energy and commodity professionals within the organizations? Sure. Well, you know, I think this kind of get, gets back to where we are currently, um, you know, sitting in 2020 and that, you know, 10 years ago, you know, there would be nowhere near the amount of data available to us that we have available to us today. Not only that, you know, a lot of the techniques that we're seeing, a lot of these new data science techniques, um, you know, at, at their core, they're extensions of a lot of the material that we're going to cover in this course. 
And you know, when I think about what an organization can take away from you know, one of their employees or a group of them coming to a course like this is not only can they better utilize the data that they have available to them, but also it's a way to, you know, to better understand and be able to better communicate that data you know, and turn it into decisions that can be made by upper level managers. And I think you know, we're getting to a point where you know, throughout an organization, there has to be more data fluency. Um, you know, and that's not only just understanding you know, individual series, but then also understanding um, you know, how commodities relate to the overall global economy or how two markets might exist and, and, and co or coexist together. So you know, I really do think you know, this, this skill set is applicable, you know, throughout organizations. And I think it's also something that, you know, organizations can, it's a building block and it's a foundation that I think they can kind of build upon going forward. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in terms of the actual, uh, you know, uh, format of it and time commitment of the class, Dan, could you just, uh, you know, you know, format probably going to be virtual. Um, how many hours a week, you know, this the, how you've kind of structured the class. Yeah, so we're, we're set up um, for this upcoming course in October to meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we're going to meet for two hour blocks. And of course that, you know, in today, in today's current environment, this is going to be virtual. So we'll, we'll utilize Zoom and uh, we'll also utilize um, some software that we have through the university to distribute materials, um, to keep, um, to, to start any type of, you know, chat amongst students. So, you know, I, I'm not going to, you know, I, I know anyone who, who decides to, you know, to, to make a time commitment like this. I know it's a big commitment in addition to everything else they might have professionally. So, you know, the, my idea is, is that, you know, we, we work really hard on those two hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then I can come up with and I can send along some exercises to work through that we can review at the start of each session that helps reinforce, uh, the, you know, the topics throughout the course. So, um, you know, I... I I really do think that um, the, the format worked, you know, has been working great. Um, and I think, you know, I think it, you know, I think people will find that it's, that it's a very manageable, it's a very manageable pace and there's a very manageable amount of information. Okay. And what would you say about, uh, you know, those that are working full time? Is this, you know, is this a good course for them? I do. I, I, I think it, I think it's manageable. I really do. Um, and, you know, and I think that if it's, you know, I think this skill set, if it's something that you're trying to apply, you know, one of the things that you could be doing is actually, you know, is, is taking the material in the course and then, you know, maybe directly trying to apply it to the problem at hand that you might have going if, if you are working full time. So I do think, I do think it's, it's very manageable. So, you know, another question just came through, you know, that, you know, the two hour lectures, you know, outside of working hours, you know what? Uh, I know we we recorded them uh, first go around, but what what are your thoughts there? Yeah, so uh, you know, in addition to the, the the two hours that we meet, you know, I will I will have extra materials, and, and that will be voluntary for you to work through. Um, but it would really reinforce the topics, and and so we found that there's a pretty good flow. Um, so, you know, if, if you could commit, you know, the two hours, Tuesdays and Thursdays to the course and then be able to commit, let's just say maybe two to three hours sometime throughout the rest of the week, whether that be over the weekend or whatnot, to either review some of the material or to work through some of these example homeworks that I'll be passing out as we get through the course. You know, I think that would be a very manageable time commitment. Yeah. I mean, I've even found myself, Dan, from the, the, the last class and as I'm trying to develop some forecast models for silver, for example, being able to just sit down with, you know, some of the previous re-recorded lectures and, oh yeah, not, not that, you know, but, uh, um, you know, a question coming through, you know, if a, if, a, if a firm does not use eViews, does the material transfer to other software? It does, um, and, I, and I will be very upfront about that. Um, it, 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 it uh, you know, the, 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 the concepts that we're going to cover are, I mean, are really foundational to time series analysis, to forecasting methodology. Um, and even, like I said, these are very foundational to some of the newer data science techniques. Um, I myself teach courses in eViews, I, and then in other endeavors, I work in R, I work in Python, and I, have, I, I can tell you up front that everything that we will do in this course is transferable to, I know for those two, two um, statistical languages, but then also if you were say a Stata user or a SAS user, um, yes, all, you know, so, so there's, there's a lot of transferability. And what I would say too is that, you know, EVs has worked really hard to kind of keep up. They know that they're a proprietary software rather than being open source, say like a Python or an R, um, but they integrate now fully. 
So, you know, and this is something that I have come around to in the last couple of years is that I think a lot of us operate under, under this assumption that we kind of have to pigeonhole ourselves into using, you know, I'm an R user or I'm an EDs user. And now what I can do is I can do a lot of my work in EDs. And then if there's something maybe a maybe higher level that EDs won't do, I can actually pass the data into Python or R and perform the calculations in R that I need to and then bring the data back into EDs. And so there is this two-way, you know, data pipeline that exists between EDUs and, and multiple other languages and statistical software. So there's a lot of flexibility now. Yeah, Dan, a uh, question on, uh, you know, is the course able to discuss how electricity markets um, and maybe, you know, and states manage their, their purchasing? Um, I'm trying to... Uh, you know, I, we... we, we probably wouldn't get into that level of specificity. Um, you know, where I can see electricity coming into the course is, you know, potentially using, you know, some electricity data, generation data for an example on, you know, how to build seasonal models or how to, how to forecast, you know, load, you know, with a seasonal component. But, you know, the, the, the focus is really truly on kind of the empirical data analysis side. And so, you know, just due to time constraints, we, we really won't be doing deep dives into kind of market market conditions or, or, or how markets are working. I did, uh, you know, you did really cover a lot, a, a pretty wide swath of various commodities, whether they were in the ag sector or metals or, or energy. So, um, um, you know, I'm going to, to we've kind of run through all the questions that, that our audience had at the moment. If there's any others, uh, please, please uh, type them in or let us know. Um, but, uh, anyway, Dan, I think it was, uh, you know, I can't help promote this enough. It was just about, just a great class for me to be able to, to reacquaint myself with a lot of this material. And, uh, and, uh, so, so thanks for your time today. Um, thanks for all that we're, uh, we're, we're, uh, being able to participate with us and let us know, uh, if there's any questions about the, the class that's upcoming. Thanks for your time.